Hi guys, it's Tanya M and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love wig reviews, synthetic and human, go ahead and subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload new content. Today I'm doing a review slash install of Sensational Cloud9 Lace Frontal Wig Anisha. She is new. I decided to get her in a 613 because blondes have more fun. So I'm just showing you the cap construction. It's normal cap construction, uh, two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. I was putting her on, and for some reason, she just wasn't working for me as she was. It just looked like a bank robin wig. So I just ha decided to add some curls. Um, I knew the curls would give it some life, some bounce, some vitality. I'm sorry I didn't record the curling portion. This was... A last minute decision, but she's giving some pretty Marilyn Monroe vibes. I'm about to be a black Marilyn Monroe today. Um, this is the install portion. I'm using the Ebon Supreme Hold uh, Lace Glue, and I'm using two layers. I always use two to three layers. I already pre-cut the lace and, pre and plucked the lace also. Uh, so, I, I mean, yeah, pluck the frontal portion. Of the lace and then I'm just gonna go ahead and press the lace down now that the glue has dried and adjust as needed I also pressed with my rat tail comb just to make sure it sticks and it's final this is not gonna move once you press her down and add your um, lace holding or yeah lace melting band I'm sorry once you add your lace melting band, I also tinted the lace with foundation as opposed to spray so it wouldn't get on the blonde hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and melt the lace down with Ebon Lace Melting Spray. I am loving the Ebon line. They really upgraded and they're on track with what's going on in the community, in the lace wig community. And this is the final results. I'm just playing with it, trying to see where I want to lay the curls. I really, really enjoyed wearing this wig. I wore her for a few days, um, and then, of course, I had to take her off because I have way more wig reviews to do for you guys. But, yeah, I really totally transformed this wig. She is not like how she came out of the box. If you're looking to see how to wear her straight out of the box, this review was not for you. I apologize, but I like to customize my wigs and I don't like to purchase wigs that I don't like. I have to make them work somehow. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for my final thoughts. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm hoping that you enjoyed that little tutorial that I just did with this unit. Um, so I want to apologize. I did not record myself curling it, but she would curl a synthetic wig the same way that you would curl a regular human hair wig. Um, it's just you would do it on a lower temperature. You don't want to go any higher than 320. That's the highest I go, 320, 330. And you would curl it. Uh, the only thing you would do is after you curl it, you hold it so it cools off. I mean, I did that with my human hair wigs too. Just so the curl is solidified and won't fall. Anyway, so again, this is uh, by Sensational. It's part of their, Swiss, their Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig. Um, it's 100% premium fiber in the style Anisha. And I bought her in a 613. So when I first saw this wig, I was like, oh, it's a cute bob. Um, it looks really nice. I was like, summertime, 613 all the way. When I put her on, as you can see in the beginning, I was just like, this looks so wiggy. This looks like a bank robin wig. <laughs> I can't do that. So I was like, okay, it being this short, I'm pretty sure it's going to look cute with some curls. So um, I did that. I added the curls as a last minute thing. So that's why I wasn't recorded. I didn't know I was going to do that. Um, I was just staring at it on the mannequin. I was like, I don't like, like, I don't like it. I don't like it. It looks wiggy. It looks too fake. Why did I get a 613? But then I'm not really fond of bobs because for me, bobs just look so wiggy. Um, but I was like, let me curl it and see how it looked. And it's saying Miss Marilyn Monroe, Miss Black Marilyn Monroe. Negative about this wig, it is thin. 
Um, so you can see the tracks in the back if you're not careful. I think I went ahead and did a better job of covering it. I think the first turnaround y'all saw, the first 360 I did, you could see the tracks. I try to, you know, look in the back with the mirror to see if I could see it. Um, I kind of covered it with, I pulled the hair down and covered the tracks where it was showing. <sighs> yeah, so that's the negative about this wig. Um, and there is going to be some shedding. 613 wigs tend to shed more. But other than that, as you can see with my black shirt, but other than that, it's a good wig. It's a good wig. Um, I will be pulling this out and wearing her again. Because this 613 is busting. How the kids say, it's busting. It looks really good. Um, really fun. I feel really sexy with this blonde hair. So, yeah. I can't wait to take my pictures. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. All the wig details be in the description box. Um, oh yeah, I purchased her from Wig Types. Don't forget, guys, I sell 100% real make lashes. Um, these are a new style that I will be adding to the list this week. But I really love these, like, like fairy. I'm trying to think of a name. The perfect name. These are like a very wispy. Love them. Love them. Um, so I will be adding that to my store. The link to my store will be down in the description box. The link to my business page, business Instagram page will be down in the description box, as well as my uh, personal uh, content creator vlog. So you'll see pictures of the hair and other wigs I've reviewed. Yeah, I think that's all I can mention. Thanks for watching. Bye.